Hello friends, welcome to this YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve a couple of numerical problems on parallel operation of single phase transformers. By solving these problems, we shall observe how two single phase transformers connected in parallel share a common load. We shall learn how to determine current supplied by each transformer and their operating power factors. We shall also observe how the reactance to resistance ratios of these transformers influence the load sharing and the operating power factors. Two identical single phase transformers A and B of equal voltage ratio running in parallel supplies a total load of 800 ampere at 0 0.8 lagging power factor. Their equivalent impedances referred to the secondary side are 1.5 plus J3 ohm and 2 plus J 4.5 ohm. We have to determine the current supplied by each transformer and their individual power factors. Let us first write down the given data. Load current IL equals to 800 ampere. Load power factor cos phi L equals to 0 0.8 lagging. Let us now determine power factor angle. Phi L equals to cos inverse 0 0.8 that is equal to 36.8699 degree. Load current in phasor form IL equals to 800 ampere at an angle minus 36.8699 degree. For transformer A given equivalent impedance ZD equals to 1.5 plus J3 ohm. This may be written in polar form as 3.3541 ohm at an angle 63.4349 degree. For transformer B, given equivalent impedance, ZB equals to 2 plus J 4.5 ohm. This may be written in polar form as 4.9244 ohm at an angle 66.0375 degree. Let us now determine ZF plus ZB. Using values we get 3.5 plus J 7.5 ohm. This may be written in polar form as 8.2765 ohm at an angle 64.9831 degree. Let us now determine load current shared by transformer A. IA equals to ZB divided by ZA plus ZB into IL. Using values we get 4.9244 at an angle 66.0375 degree divided by 8.2765 at an angle 64.9831 degree into 800 at an angle minus 36.8699 degree. That gives us 475.993 ampere at an angle minus 35.8155 degree. Operating power factor of transformer A cos phi A equals to cos of 35.8155 degree that is equal to 0 0.8109 lagging. Load current shared by transformer B IB equals to ZA divided by ZA plus ZB into IL using values we get 3.3541 at an angle 63.4349 degree divided by 8.2765 at an angle 64.9831 degree 
into 800 at an angle minus 36.8699 degree that gives us 324.2059 ampere at an angle minus 38.4181 degree. Operating power factor of transformer B cos phi B equals to cos of 38.4181 degree that gives us 0 0.7835 lagging. Given load current IL equals to 800 ampere at an angle minus 36.8699 degree. We have determined load current shared by transformer A. IA equals to 475.993 ampere at an angle minus 35.8155 degree. Load current shared by transformer B. IB equals to 324.2059 324.2059 ampere at an angle minus 38.4181 degree. Let us now draw the phasor diagram taking load terminal voltage V2 as reference. Load current shared by transformer A, IA lags V2 by an angle 35.8155 degree. Load current shared by transformer B, IB, lags V2 by an angle 38.4181 degree. Here we observe that IA and IB have different phases. For transformer A, given equivalent impedance, ZD equals to 1.5 plus J3 ohm. Reactance to resistance ratio. XA by RA equals to 3 by 1.5 that is equal to 2. For transformer B given equivalent impedance ZB equals to 2 plus J 4.5 ohm. Reactance to resistance ratio XB by RB equals to 4.5 by 2 that is equal to 2.5. 2.5. Since these two transformers have different reactance to resistance ratios, the current supplied by them, IA and IB, are at different phases. Transformers are operating at different power factors. We have to take phasor sum of IA and IB to determine total load current IL which is lagging V2 by an angle 36.8699 degree. Let us now determine load current supplied by transformer B using alternative method. We know that load current IL equals to IA plus IB. Therefore, expression for load current Shared by transformer B, IB equals to IL minus IA. Load current IL may be written in Cartesian form as 640 minus J480 ampere. IA may be written in Cartesian form as 385.99 minus J278.54 ampere. Using values, we get IB equals to 254.01 minus J 201.46 ampere. This may be written in polar form as 324.2059 ampere at an angle minus 38.4181 degree. Let us study the effect of equal reactance to resistance ratios of parallelly connected transformers on load sharing. Given load current IL equals to 800 ampere at an angle minus 36.8699 degree. Equivalent impedance of transformer A, ZA equals to 1.5 plus J3 ohm 
that is equal to 3.3541 ohm at an angle 63.4349 degree. Reactance to resistance ratio Xa by Ra equals to 3 by 1.5 that is equal to 2. Let us assume that equivalent impedance of transformer B Zb equals to 2 plus J4 ohm that is equal to 4.4721 ohm at an angle 63.4349 degree. Reactance to resistance ratio Xb by Rb equals to 4 by 2 that is equal to 2. We observe that now both the transformers have equal reactance to resistance ratios. Let us now determine ZA plus ZB using values we get 3.5 plus J7 ohm that is equal to 7.8262 ohm at an angle 63.4349 degree. Load current shared by transformer A IA equals to ZB divided by ZA plus ZB into IL using values we get 4.4721 at an angle 63.4349 degree divided by 7.8262 at an angle 63.4349 degree into 800 at an angle minus 36.8699 degree. That gives us 457.1429 ampere at an angle minus 36.8699 degree. Operating power factor of transformer A cos phi A equals to cos of 36.8699 degree that is equal to 0 0.8 lagging. Load current shared by transformer B IB equals to ZD divided by ZD plus ZB into IL. Using values we get 3.3541 at an angle 63.4349 degree divided by 7.8262 at an angle 63.4349 degree into 800 at an angle minus 36.8699 degree. That gives us 342.8571 ampere at an angle minus 36.8699 degree. Operating power factor of transformer B cos phi B equals to cos of 36.8699 degree that is equal to 0 0.8 lagging. Let us draw the phasor diagram taking load terminal voltage V2 as reference. Current supplied by both the transformers IA and IB are lagging V2 by an angle 36.8699 degree. That is IA and IB are in phase. Here we observe that magnitude of IA is 457.1429 ampere and magnitude of IB is 342.8571 ampere. By adding them we get 457.1429 ampere plus 342.8571 ampere that gives us 800 ampere. We can write load current IL equals to IA plus IB. Therefore, we can conclude that when transformers of equal reactance to resistance ratios operate in parallel to share a common load, current supplied by them are in phase and transformers operate at equal power factors to 11 kV by 400 volt single phase transformers are connected in parallel to supply a total load of 500 ampere at 0 0.8 lagging power factor at a terminal voltage of 
400 volts. They are equivalent impedances referred to the secondary side are 2 plus J 3 ohm and 2.5 plus J 5 ohm. We have to determine the current supplied by each transformer. Let us first jot down the given data. Load current IL equals to 500 ampere. Load power factor cos phi L equals to 0 0.8 lagging. Let us now determine power factor angle. Phi L equals to cos inverse 0 0.8 that is equal to 36.8699 degree. Load current in phasor form IL equals to 500 ampere at an angle minus 36.8699 degree. For transformer A given equivalent impedance J day equals to 2 plus J 3 ohm. This may be written in polar form as 3.6056 ohm at an angle 56.3099 degree. For transformer B given equivalent impedance ZB equals to 2.5 plus J 5 ohm. This may be written in polar form as 5.5902 ohm at an angle 63.4349 degree. Let us now determine ZF plus ZB. Using values we get 4.5 plus J8 ohm. This may be written in polar form as 9.1788 ohm at an angle 60.6422 degree. Let us now determine load current shared by transformer A. IA equals to ZB divided by ZA plus ZB into IL. Using values we get 5.5902 at an angle 63.4349 degree divided by 9.1788 at an angle 60.6422 degree into 500 at an angle minus 36.8699 degree. That gives us 304.516 ampere at an angle minus 34.0772 degree. Operating power factor of transformer A cos phi A equals to cos of 34.0772 degree that gives us 0 0.8283 lagging. Let us now determine load current shared by transformer B. IB equals to ZF divided by ZF plus ZB into IL. Using values we get 3.6056 at an angle 56.3099 degree divided by 9.1788 at an angle 60.6422 degree into 500 at an angle Minus 36.8699 degree that gives us 196.4069 ampere at an angle minus 41.2022 degree. Operating power factor of transformer B cos phi B equals to cos of 41.2022 degree that gives us 0 0.7524 lagging. Let us now determine load current supplied by transformer B using alternative method. Given load current IL equals to 500 ampere at an angle minus 36.8699 degree. This may be written in Cartesian form as 400 minus J 300 ampere. We have determined load current shared by transformer A 
IA equals to 304.516 ampere at an angle minus 34.0772 degree. This may be written in Cartesian form as 252.23 minus J 170.62 ampere. We know that load current IL equals to IA plus IB. Therefore, expression for load current shared by transformer B. IB equals to IL minus IA. Using thallus, we get 147.77 minus J 129.38 ampere. This may be written in polar form as 196.4069 ampere at an angle minus 41.2022 degree. Let us draw the phasor diagram taking load terminal voltage V2 as reference. Here load current shared by transformer A, IA lacks V2 by an angle 34.0772 degree whereas load current shared by transformer B, IB lacks V2 by an angle 41.2022 degree. We observe that IA and IB have different phases. For transformer A, given equivalent impedance, JD equals to 2 plus J 3 ohm. Reactance to resistance ratio, XA by RA equals to 3 by 2, that is equal to 1.5. For transformer B, given equivalent impedance, ZB equals to 2.5 plus J5 ohm. Reactance to resistance ratio, XB by RB equals to 5 by 2.5, that is equal to 2. Since these two transformers have different reactance to resistance ratios, the current supplied by them, IA and IB, are at different phases. Transformers are operating at different power factors. We have to take phasor sum of IA and IB to determine total load current IL, which is lagging load terminal voltage V2 by an angle 36.8699 degree. Two 11 kV by 400 volt single phase transformers have equivalent impedances referred to the secondary side 0 0.2 plus J 0 0.5 ohm and 0 0.3 plus J 0 0.6 ohm. They operate in parallel and supply a load of 50 kW at 0 0.8 lagging power factor. We have to determine magnitudes of the secondary currents and their angles relative to secondary terminal voltage. We also have to determine power delivered by each transformer. Let us first jot down the given data. Total load PL equals to 50 kilowatt. Load power factor cos phi L equals to 0 0.8 lagging. Let us first determine power factor angle. Phi L equals to cos inverse 0 0.8 that is equal to 36.8699 degree. Load in KVA SL equals to PL divided by cos phi L. Using values we get 50 divided by 0 0.8 that is equal to 62.5 kilovolt ampere. Load in phasor form SL equals to 62.5 kilovolt ampere at an angle minus 36.8699 degree. For transformer A given equivalent impedance JD equals to 0 0.2 plus J 0 0.5 ohm. This may be written in polar form as 
zero point five three eight five two ohm at an angle sixty eight point one nine eight six degree. For transformer B, given equivalent impedance Z B equals to zero point three plus J zero point six ohm. That is equal to zero point six seven zero eight two ohm. At an angle sixty three point four three four nine degree. Let us now determine Z plus Z B using values. We get zero point five plus J zero point one one ohm. This may be written in polar form as one point two zero eight three ohm at an angle sixty five point five five six degree. Let us now determine load shared by transformer A. S A equals to Z B divided by Z A plus Z B into S L. Using values, we get 0.67082 at an angle 63.4349 degree divided by 1.2083 at an angle 65.556 degree. Into 62.5 at an angle minus 36.8699 degree. That gives us 34.6984 kilovolt ampere at an angle minus 38.991 degree. Load shared by transformer B. S B equals to Z A divided by Z A plus Z B into S L. Using values, we get 0.53852 at an angle 68.1986 degree divided by 1.2083 at an angle 65.556 degree into 62.5 at an angle minus 36.8699 degree. That gives us 27.8. 55 kilovolt ampere at an angle minus 34.2274 degree. Taking load terminal voltage as reference, we can write V2 equals to 400 volts at an angle 0 degree. We have determined load shared by transformer A. S A equals to 34.6984. Kilovolt ampere at an angle minus 38.991 degree. This may be written in Cartesian form as 26.9692 minus J 21.8322 kilovolt ampere. Load shared by transformer B S B equals to 27.855 kilovolt ampere. At an angle minus 34.2274 degree, this may be written in Cartesian form as 23.0308 minus J 15.6678 kilovolt ampere. Current supplied by transformer A, I A equals to S A by V2. Using values, we get 34.6984. Into 10 to the power 3 at an angle minus 38.991 degree divided by 400 at an angle 0 degree. That gives us 86.7461 ampere at an angle minus 38.991 degree. Current supplied by transformer B. I B equals to S B by V two. Using values, we get twenty seven point eight five five into ten to the power three at an angle minus thirty four point two two seven four degree divided by four hundred at an angle zero degree. That gives us sixty nine point six three seven four ampere at an angle minus thirty four point two two. 74 degree. Active power delivered by transformer A, P A equals to S A cos phi A. That is equal to 26.9692 kilowatt. Active power delivered by transformer B, 
PB equals to SB cos phi B that is equal to 23.0308 kilowatt. Operating power factor of transformer A cos phi A equals to cos of 38.991 degree that gives us 0 0.7772 lagging. Operating power factor of transformer B cos phi B equals to cos of 34.2274 degree that gives us 0 0.8268 lagging. Load in phasor form SL equals to 62.5 kilovolt ampere at an angle minus 36.8699 degree. Taking load terminal voltage as reference, we get V2 equals to 400 volts at an angle 0 degree. Let us now determine load current. IL equals to SL by V2. Using values, we get 62.5 into 10 to the power 3 at an angle minus 36.8699 degree divided by 400 at an angle 0 degree. That gives us 156.25 ampere at an angle minus 36.8699 degree. We have determined current supplied by transformer A. IA equals to 86.7461 ampere at an angle minus 38.991 degree. Current supplied by transformer B. IB equals to 69.6374 ampere at an angle minus 34.2274 degree. Here we observe that the magnitude of IL is 156.25 ampere whereas magnitude of IA is 86.7461 ampere and magnitude of IB is 69.6374 ampere. Let us draw the phasor diagram taking load terminal voltage V2 as reference. Current supplied by transformer A, IA lacks V2 by an angle 38.991 degree. Current supplied by transformer B, IB lacks V2 by an angle 34.2274 degree. For transformer A, given equivalent impedance, J day equals to 0 0.2 plus J 0 0.5 ohm. Reactance to resistance ratio XA by RA equals to 0 0.5 by 0 0.2 that is equal to 2.5. For transformer B, given equivalent impedance ZB equals to 0 0.3 plus J 0 0.6 ohm. Reactance to resistance ratio XB by RB equals to 0 0.6 by 0 0.3 that is equal to 2. Since these two transformers have different reactance to resistance ratios, the current supplied by them IA and IB are at different phases. Transformers are operating at different power factors. We have to take phasor sum of IA and IB to determine the total load current IL which is lagging the load terminal voltage V2 by an angle 36.8699 degree. So today we have solved a couple of numerical problems on parallel operation of single phase transformers. By solving these problems, we have learned how to determine current supplied by each transformer and their operating power factors.
we have observed how the reactants to resistance ratios of these transformers influence the load sharing and the operating power factors. When the reactance to resistance ratios of these transformers are equal, the current supplied by them are in phase. Total load current can be determined by simply adding the current supplied by each transformer and the transformers operate at same power factors. But when the reactance to resistance ratios of these transformers are not equal, the current supplied by them are at different phases. Total load current can be calculated by taking phasor sum of the currents supplied by each transformer and the transformers operate at different power factors. Hope this lecture has been useful for you. If you have any suggestion or question, please drop it in the comment section below. If you have liked this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thank you.